Right, so in the last couple of videos I've been showing you um, different ways of structuring your app. So we did tab group, a nav group and then a hybrid of both. So in this video I'm going to be really quick and I'm going to show you how to do sort of a bespoke way. If you wanted to control the window flow yourself, like opening the windows and closing on and all that sort of stuff. So I've got a really simple example. Here we go, it's just an app with a window to begin with. You open another window and then you close it. What's happening here is when you click open window, we're creating a new instance of a window object. Then when you click close window, we are closing that window object and then nulling the variables. And what we're doing there is we're releasing it from memory. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got our app.js as always to begin with. And we're requiring this startup module. Then we're calling this function from within that startup module. Let's have a look. So here's that function, function start app. We're exporting it as always at the end. And all this is doing is creating and opening a window which has a button on it. And that button has an event listener. Okay? And the event listener is requiring this function in this module here and then opening it. So because we're opening it, you can tell from here that we are just returning a window object as opposed to opening a window object. So if we have a look at this win one module now. Yep, so this win one module is just one function and what it's doing is it's returning a window object. And the window object it's returning is this red one here with the close button on it. You can see here Here's the close button. Now this has an event, and the event is that it will close the window, then it will remove the close button, and then it will null the close button variable and null the window object. So as I've mentioned in a video for another series I did, when you want to release the objects from memory, what you want to do is you want to put anything other than a titanium object into that variable. So in this instance, I'm putting null. But that could easily be the string of Gary or whatever you want. I just put null because it's. I just find it easier, and then I know that there's nothing. There's nothing in that variable, and as long as the titanium object is not referenced in a variable anymore, it will be removed from memory. So that's why we're doing that. So then, when we close the window, it's completely destroyed, and when we click open window, a new, a brand new version of that window object is created. Close. That version is destroyed, open, another brand new version is. But then, in memory, there will only ever be one instance of that window. And that's because of this. So this is sort of the main thing to um, consider when you are creating this sort of bespoke version. Is you want to make sure that any objects you are adding to the window when it's created, make sure you remove when it's destroyed and also null the variables. So yeah, so that was really quick. But any questions on that, send me an email or leave a comment and I'll get back to you.